many of those 25,000 National Guardsmen who came in town will be here for at least 30 days. Uh, but those barriers and some of that fencing have already begun uh, coming down. Now, I want to show you all some video that was shot just yesterday uh, to give you a look at what everything looks like. It shows crews breaking down metal barriers along 6th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue in Northwest and big trucks removing large concrete barriers in other parts of downtown. Crews are also removing barriers and fencing on major streets like 7th, 9th and 12th streets uh, working east to west. They'll also start reopening garages that were blocked as a precaution. Uh, we can also tell you that the D.C. Deputy Mayor of Public Planning and Economic Development tweeted that this will, in fact, take some time. Uh, he says that it's important to give crews time and space to work safely. That breakdown started around 6 o'clock last night and will likely take about 36 hours. Now, we talked to some students who live here uh, in the D.C. area about how they feel about all the security. Here's what they had to say. On one hand, I felt secure, but on the other hand, it's kind of worrying because, like, I don't really like, you know, being constantly surrounded by security. But you know what? That security did work. Officials said that someone called in a bomb threat uh, to the Supreme Court early yesterday morning, but it ended up to be false. A few hours before that, the Secret Service said that it arrested a person having unregistered ammunition at a checkpoint at 17th in Pennsylvania. But other than that, there were no reported arrests and things pretty much remained peaceful. Now, we can tell you that parts of the uh, Capitol Street, Sousa and 11th Street bridges reopened. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we can tell you that the rest of those remaining bridges that are closed are going to be reopening in less than an hour at 6 o'clock this morning. I'm reporting live in Northwest D.C. Michael Quander, WUSA 9.